That Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paolo for IEZ 2016. Pilgrims gathered once more the Cebu Doctors University Auditorium for the second day of the Theological Symposium prior to the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Father Benedicto John Sarches, Rector of Pope John XXIII High School Seminary, led the morning praise. In his thought-provoking talk on liturgy and enculturation, the Atorian Father Mark Francis stressed that The profound changes that are taking place in society because of globalization and urbanization, new discoveries in science and technology, growing commercialization and secularization, all point to the perhaps uncomfortable fact that enculturation cannot be a one-time project, but it must be an ongoing endeavor promoted by the church because we must continue to read the signs of the times. Most Reverend Piero Marini, who spoke on the history of the Novus Ordo, said that openness to dialogue and adaptation to the various cultures is a principle inherent in the very nature of the liturgy. As an activity of the entire people, the liturgy has an intrinsic need for adaptation. Concurrent workshops resume in the afternoon to deepen the pilgrim's knowledge and appreciation of the Eucharist. Mary Knoll missionary Father James Kruger on his reflection on the Eucharist in the Church's style with religions and religious traditions pointed out that the Eucharist, which celebrates the Paschal mystery, is the genesis of all missionary evangelization. And for mission to be integral, the missionary must be committed to the promotion of social development and human liberation. Reflecting on the Eucharist in the Church's dialogue with the poor and the marginalized, Vincentian Father Daniel Pilario said that if the Eucharist cannot connect to the poor, then that is the end. Despite our situation, the liturgy is the be-all and the end-all of our Christian life. Religious of the Virgin Mary, Sister Anishiko, shared on Mary and the Eucharist in the contemporary mission of the Church. Sister Ko says that Mary's presence teaches us the meaning of the Eucharist in our life. Mary, who is Jesus' gift to us on the cross, reminds us of the beauty of the Eucharist, that is, Jesus' own self-gift. The second day of the symposium ended with a Mass presided by Bishop Julito Cortes of Dumaguete. In his insightful homily, Bishop Cortes invited the faithful to a renewal in the community's encounter with Jesus Christ. This is more essential than changes in the form of the Mass, which, quoting Edward Foley, are at best peripheral. Bishop Cortes then says, Liturgy changes, but the Lord of the liturgy does not. Speakers for the third day of the symposium will be Basilian Benedict Thomas Rosica on evangelizing a secular world and Dr. Josefina Manabat on a catechesis on the Sunday Eucharist. Please follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paolo of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. That Christ in us is our hope of glory.